At 1 o'clock today, the sheriff's office lifted the evacuations in Oak Creek Canyon. After having been away for more than a week, evacuees are now allowed to return to their homes. And AZ Today's Mason Agnew has more with this story. Actually, I'm very relieved that it's still standing, you know. I know the firefighters did a tremendous job uh, saving every structure in the canyon. DPS officers have seen returning residents doing everything from dropping in their houses to calm their nerves to beginning the recovery process. Uh, as a lot of people can imagine, you know, being away from their houses and, and not knowing the state of their properties for more than a week, this is a very welcome day for them. They're so happy about coming in and they're nervous about coming home, about what they're going to find. And one person told us that he was just in tears. We said, how, how do you feel about coming home? And he said, I'm... I just want to cry because I'm so happy about coming back. And residents that are coming up to the checkpoint are, are pretty much getting a, a packet of materials, just a lot of really good information for residents. Friday between 9 a.m. and noon, 89A will be closed again so that APS can work to restore power to the canyon. Helicopters will be used to lift telephone poles and equipment into the affected areas, so residents who have returned are advised to stay inside. They're uh, also encouraging them to sign up for flood insurance for, uh, you know, future planning on if those floodwaters ever, ever come down. Just as the firefighters are ending their efforts to keep the slide fire from claiming land on the front lines, homeowners are beginning to reclaim their homes in the wake of one of the largest blazes in Coconino County history. It's uh, rewarding and it's just a great way to give back to the community. We live in a, a beautiful, wonderful place and it's nice to give back. Can't stop smiling.